and we're back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. Um, uh, basically, we went through the maze to get to the Cave of Darkness after losing to Bahamut, which never happened. I totally killed him. I did on my second try. This place, though... Alright, so that guy on the left, who I didn't get to talk to again, basically all the enemies split, so if you missed the last part, I turned everybody into the Mystic Knights. And we're just gonna go with this party. Just regular Aerial, I don't care. You can use black magic here, though. Actually, uh, probably stuff like Toad, which I think is actually a white mage spell, Toad, and all that. Useful. But yeah, there are oodles of secret passages in here, because that is how it's dark. I mean, it's purple, which is the color of darkness. Ooh, see? That's an easy one, though. Yay, a laminate scale! Yeah, this guy says all the enemies in here split, so this is- yep, see? Deathclaw. Shabam! Shabam! It's kind of- uh, the way they force you to use certain things are cool. Um, it's sort of like- I think they did a much better job in Final Fantasy V, where there were a few areas where it's like, you need to kill this boss with magic, or magic doesn't work on this boss, you need physical attacks. But you never ever had to switch to every one class. There were strategies, multiple ones. Ooh, another dude. Stop ambushing me! Also, okay, um, the green, the green lizard dude, is his one hand a snake, or is it just like curled like he's like rah but there's no nails on it that's just that's weird i think his one hand is a snake it's his friend bob now now they're both dead <laughs> do 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 almost exciting da, 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 da. okay we get it skill up we're so proud of you. God swine, what do you say? Dot dot dot, you alright? Seems I was not experienced enough, please take this. Yay, I got another Kotetsu, you know what that means? Chap can have a slightly better weapon, so 150 goes to 190. Shabam. Oh, I know we're spreading out. Oh, he disappeared. <gasps> he turned into the sword. Yeah, see, this is where it's like F you. So, I'm pretty sure this just has one path. Okay, ah! I ran to the wall. Should kill this guy before he attacks, hopefully. Nope! <laughs> the cave of darkness where you can't see! We gotta use some potions. But it's interesting that they force you to do this. It's kind of like a combination of Final Fantasy 4 and 5. There is- can I go through here? Yeah, there's flexibility, but it's not- It's not, you know... It's like 4, where you had to take on- Ooh, there's a thing. Ooh, I found it. There's- you had to take on roles in 4. Like, they basically just gave you your party. Like, here, have fun. And you had to use what you had available, but Final Fantasy 5 is like ultimate flexibility. Uh, and this game is kind of a, you know, they make you use certain classes, certain places. You could do this with all black mages, like I said, or you could do what I did before I got the Mystic Knight's swords and just, like, punch things until they fell over no matter how much they split, but yeah. The choice is yours. The power is yours. Sorry, I'm, like, winding through here. Paralyzer. Is that an item or a sword? It's an item. <laughs> I want a sword called the Paralyzer, though. Okay, oh, there's a thing, so I just go straight. Yeah, you gotta look for those little tiny graphical hints. It's not as bad as it was in- oh, jeez. Uh, in Ultima. If you ever played the Ultima game, especially the early ones, the graphical hints- because it was like, it was basically the roughest, you know, really old computer pre-2D stuff. And... So, everything was very, very, very simple looking. Like, okay, look at the background right now, the little cave background, the purple fun time lumps in the background. That is, like, way, 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 way more than the Ultima games even would have. <laughs> Ouch, hey. But, 
They may do, but you just had to look for like one pixel. One little pixel that was out of place. One little pixel. Okay, can we hurry this up? I, I get back attacked like half of my attacks. My cat's trying to break in here. He can velociraptor doors. He like reaches up. He's a big cat. He reaches up and he gets his little paw pads on the handle and he kind of twists it. I don't think he understands that motion, but he thinks he just needs to do something with the handle and since he's leaning against the door, he, uh, he opens it up. Alright. Oh, there's two. We're gonna go straight first. Ah! Stop it with the back attacks, please! Stop it with the back attacks, please. Alright, slash, slash, slash. Okay. Okay. We're running out of commentary here. With all these back attacks, I still think the Death Claw guy looks really weird. Hurrah! Finish him off! Don't make him split! Oh. <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, Danny. Shouldn't have that much HP left, though. Yeah, because it's split from something almost dead. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I also think in this game, when I looked up more about the classes the other day, I think the Mystic Knight is supposed to represent the Samurai. And not, like, a Dark Knight. But it's kind of a mix, because they said, you know, they used the part of darkness, blah blah blah. Oh, jeez. This is not a back attack. His hand looks like a, a like a, a wolf or something. It's like ah, like he, he shoved his head through his skull or something. His hand through his skull. Excuse me. I think there's pretty secret equipment in here. Yeah, I'm looking at the list. I see a Genji glove. I see another sword. I see just Genji gear all around. This is gonna be a fun place. This is gonna be a fun place. <sighs> we just stop a battle and we come back. We're like in the middle of a wall. There's something. Okay. Is it the stairs? <gasps> it's the stairs down. Oh, we have to run the guys. Please don't look back at that. Okay. It's just one death claw. I think I'm good. And of course, Tex Chap, who's near dead. Well, not near dead, but. Gets to attack first. Da da da! Hooray, we did it. I like how there's not even stairs, it's just like, we're in the wall, there's a hole. Hi, potion. Heal up, Chap. I said heal up, Chap, not Mev. Alright. Ugh! And we're in- okay, I guess it's just no back attacks, I'm getting this- Ooh, strike first! We might kill them all then before they have a chance to retaliate. Remember in uh, Ultima, you could find- I'm just gonna go in here first. Oh jeez. What madness is this? <coughs> in Ultima, I remember in the castle you could just find a bunch of hidden chests if you knew where all the little hidden walls were, but they were like all poisoned. So you'd get poisoned, 
And then you could go right back to the king and get healed. And then go and get poisoned again and get more gold. It was, it was really odd. <sighs> Fun, archaic games based on D&D games. <sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. Shabam! Wow! Wow. Did you see that damage? It was like 3,000 magic. Yay, skill up! Alright, we're go okay, we're going down. And now the entire screen is just purple wall with me in the middle. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just pressing whatever direction I- ooh. He's got blood on his sword, and there's like mini dragons or something. No, I don't know why my control- oh boy, I just did something. <laughs> Look at those mini anger dragons. Vasago. And Kronos. This is what happens when the Reptites win. Jeez, we're doing insane damage. Oh, I used Exit. Ah, well, it didn't work. Like I said, Exit, Warp, and I think those are the only spells, but they basically just count as an instant death spell in this game, which I think is cool, because I don't do that in other games. Okay, I was going right. Now I can't go right. Can I go down? <gasps> Genji Glove! Alright, who should have that? Um, chap. Let's see what it does. It just raised defense by nine. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, there's another path there. Okay, what does this path go? Ah! I like how whenever I'm like, oh, I need something to talk about, I'm like, I should talk about other RPGs. <laughs> Last time when I was talking about all the Final Fantasy games, I kind of gave Final Fantasy X and XIII a hard time, and a little eight, but uh, whatever. The order I played the Final Fantasy, or I experienced them because I had an older brother and an older cousin, so I got to, like, see them play it. So it's just gonna take me back to the- yeah, it did. Okay. Ugh. Wall monsters. I think it was, um, Final Fantasy IV? Final Fantasy VI. And then seven was my first Final Fantasy, and then nine. I experienced eight between then, but I don't think my brother really liked it. Or if he did, I wasn't really around. Like, he went to college, like, at that time. Where did these go? Nowhere! Okay. Oh, and I already knew a monster for that. Well, at least I took the right one first. And then, uh, I went back and I played all the old ones. Except two. Two and three I didn't have access to, because they weren't really released yet, and if they were I didn't have, you know, I didn't know about them. Because back then, Final Fantasy IV was Final Fantasy II, and Final Fantasy VI was Final Fantasy III, because... Wait, was IV? Two? No, I think four was just four, but six was definitely three. On the Super Nintendo cartridges, it was just like, yup. I never played any of the side games, like, I never played Mystic Quest, or... I think there were some on, like, the Game Boy that weren't actual Final Fantasy games, they were, like, Secret of Mana, Sword of Mana games... ...that were like, well, they like Final Fantasy in the West, it's big names, so we'll put that there. <sighs> and my first MMO was Rune. Escape. And then World of Warcraft. Ah, uh, RuneScape. Oh my gosh, enemies for days. Well, at least we're really standing up. Woo! Ow. We're standing up. I grinded a tad bit too much in Bahamut, but it was kind of needed. Actually, last time I played the game, I got Leviathan and Bahamut after this cave. So, might have been a little more. What the 
hell? Oh. Okay. Ooh, it got darker. Okay, but wait, what's all this? Deathclaw, Deathclaw, Deathclaw. I know I'm attacking with the white mage, I'm just, I'm lazy. I did it again. I saved the world. I don't know where these are going. Apparently nowhere. Cool. Alright, I think this was the way to go. I, like, solved the puzzle. Um. Um. Uh, monster. <laughs> Ooh, it's a mixture of three of them. It's- it's darker now, you see the walls became blue outside, so... We're getting closer. Went from purple to blue. What a terrible night to have a curse. Is that- is that the text? I haven't played that game in a while. What a horrible night to have a curse? It's one of those adjectives. Thwackety thwack. It's kind of boring with this, uh, this class. It's just... This party just has attackers and sometimes I heal. I think, yeah, this is the stairs. It's another puzzle. Um. The Cave of Darkness. I kind of feel bad if you didn't have the swords and the Mystic Knights, because every single one of these enemy splits, I know they do. I can just tell. Chap, stop getting hit in the face. Swag, swag, swag. But yeah, these guys are like dark samurai. Like, if you combine the samurai class... Ah, that's interesting because they can use white magic. I thought they'd use black magic. Okay, so we took the dark knight and he's ki he kind of wants to be a paladin, so he, he learned some white magic. And then we gave him samurai swords and samurai gear. Oh, that, that was an eventful passage. Did you see that? Oh, I haven't gotten a back attack in a while, so I'm actually not that mad. Yeah, so we took a paladin, or we took a, a dark knight from Final Fantasy IV, and we were like, eh. You know, we kind of want to be nice, but we can't really be a paladin, so. Put a little white magic on the side. Give him some samurai gear. He still is about darkness, and apparently he's undead or something. I haven't been able to, like... I didn't- when I used life and haste on him, it didn't work, so... Hmm. Interesting. Thwack it in the head. Haniel. Daniel Haniel. It's, uh, if Daniel was a snug- uh, was he a snuggly cannibal? <coughs> Haniel. Haniel Snugbaw. Alright. And ooh, a sword. Who doesn't have a kooky? I'm pretty sure the Assure is the bad one, but we'll double check here. Holy butt! Did you see that attack go up? Is anyone else? Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely the the Kotetsu is the better one. <sighs> Those kooky swords, Kiku, ki whatever. It's like in Final Fantasy VI, uh, the translation from Woolsey. He was like EP and. He really liked the word load. He did load. I think load was supposed to be silver or mithril. Like, you know, the classic progression in RPGs where it's like, oh, I got like bronze armor, and then I got iron armor, and then there's like mithril and stuff. And silver. I think that's what load was supposed to be, but when Woolsey translated, he was like, no, it's, uh, it's load. So in Chrono Trigger, like, sort of near the middle of the game, you start getting stuff, and it's like, load bow, load axe. Well, no, no one uses an axe. You know what I mean. You saw nothing. Jeez, what? This is confuzzling. At least the enemies are fairly easy, you know? I'm getting a break, finally, from the pain of that last place. It's all night. It's like Mystic Night Revenge. Just like, yep. Now you can't split. Yay! All right.
right. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay. Oh no. Which one do I take? Oh jeez. Hey, Daniel. <sighs> Much destruction. Poor worms. It'd be terrifying though, like to come down here and just worms. And giant reptites. Oh, let's try this one because it's most direct. But that's it. Okay. And this, cause that sword was the only item on here, so I'm not looking for passages anymore. Just kind of looking where to go next. This is a huge cave. Well, the mountains are massive and full holes. To me, Final Fantasy III, this game, obviously, is like, if they took all the stuff they did with Final Fantasy I, because it was a great start. You know, there's issues with Final Fantasy I, but whatever, first game. And they just improved it. Like, you could change classes on the fly. There's more, you know, there's difficult stuff. Like, I have to turn into a toad, or you have to go mini. The world, the story is much more expansive than... Final Fantasy 1 where it was basically like, ah, we're at a place, you need to go here get crystal kill elemental bad guy guarding elemental crystal, yay, so... And it's cool because each crystal- oh jeez. <coughs> each crystal you get a nice reward. You didn't really get a reward in Final Fantasy 1, it was just kind of boring. It was just the f a grind fest. And yes, I know your character class is leveled up, but... That didn't happen for a while. And it happened once. Ah, I forgot to press down, whatever. It's not like we need it against these guys. Snack hand. Snack, snack, snack hand. Ah, it looks like a snack hand. It's like four pixel long tongue. Well, chap got cured instead, whatever. Just kill it. There's only one item on this map. I have to find it in the cave of darkness. Okay, we're just gonna go in the first one. I thought that was gonna go through the wall. Oh, I go. Oh, oh, did I find the treasure already? <gasps> oh my gosh, I ran into a monster. Way to ruin the. Ugh. But yeah, just Final Fantasy 3 to me, big improvement. It's like if Final Fantasy 1 was perfected. It's sort of the, just a really good RPG on the NES. A, a nice hidden gem. There's lots of hidden gems on the Nintendo, holy crap. Aw, uh, for Genji Shield? Yeah, that, that was the item on the list. That's, that's disappointing. I don't really use shields. I guess with how ridiculously tough some of these swords are, I guess I can give it a try, but I'd rather just have super mass damage and kill everything in one hit. Oh, you didn't kill the Death Claw in one hit? See, this is why I, just talking about shields made me not kill the enemy in one hit. That's how dangerous they are. I gotta stop soon and start baking. Mmm, baking. Mmm, pastries. Shabam! Da, 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 stuff happened. All right. Wow, that was exciting. Oh, I see a hole up here. There's a go. Oh, just fights and me trying to think of stuff to talk. About. Hmm. 
dragons are ripped, man. They got, like, abs. That's weird. Yeah, hey, cure. So spinach puffs since I'm making those real soon. Basically mix up some uh, some cooked chopped spinach and you just get it frozen and thaw it. That's easier. You take that, mix it with some onions, a little uh, garlic, you know, cut up a garlic. A garlic, you know what I mean. <laughs> Insert one garlic in the recipe. Uh, I also add some, uh, yeah, onions, garlic. Fresh herbs. I'm using parsley. Little dry herbs. Might put a little thyme in there. Still thinking. Uh, and then I add some kind of soft cheese. Feta, goat. Swiss might work, but I think Swiss doesn't have sort of that robust taste. It's more like sweeter and milder, which I love Swiss cheese, but uh, with this recipe, you kind of need that kick. And we got a Genji Helm, which we're going to give to Mev. 40. It's like the Genji Glove, but slightly worse. And on the head. Ugh. Yeah, you add that together and you add like an egg or two, depending on how big. Mix all that up and get puff pastry sheets or like those little croissant things that you can order and roll out. Put those in there, close the edges. Bake them at like 400 for 20 minutes and uh... Oh, you gotta get a paint, a little paintbrush or a kitchen brush and rub uh, egg white on the top so they're all nice and crunchy and yum. Maybe sprinkle a little herbs on top of that too. Mmm, herbs. And uh, yeah, they're a really good appetizer. You can also dip them in stuff. Uh, they're really good with soup. You can dip them in like a nice creamy soup. I'm making myself hungry. What is with these- Ugh, I keep taking the wrong paths, too. Just go. And we're in the wall again. Hurrah! This is the- the- Ooh, new guys. Anger horses. And their butts are, like, pointed. I'm trying- Oh, they're- They have six legs. Okay, so, Sleepnir. Is that the name of the guy's horse? Is that the name of Odin's horse? Sleep there, I guess, had many, many children, and they're just down in the cave of darkness, being pissed off, and- Being pissed off. Being angry horses. Hell horse are actually called hell horse, see? There you go. Da -da -da, hurrah. Yeah, we dinged. And where are we going now? Oh, I, I hit a wall. I hit another wall. The excitement. No, I, I did not tell you to defend. I told you to attack. Uh, th these guys with the sword, they look like uh, they're wearing a suit too. Like the, the teeth or the eyes, and he's like, I'm in a lizard suit. The dragons look like dragons, though. Ripped dragons that are angry. Anger dragons. Oh, wow, they actually almost killed Umbri. Like, this has been so dull, I've just been like, oh. Yes. They almost killed Umbri. There's like a... Every time I look at the page, there's like a Genji gear, there's like a a sword, a helmet, a glove, a shield, and I think the armor's coming up next on the last floor here. I think it's the last floor. Shabam! Now we get- what? What? Alright! Cool. I hope these are stairs. Because we kind of went full circle here. Oh, jeez. At least I haven't been backtracked in a while, eh? Shabam. Murder everything. I also want to make uh, other appetizers. Sorry I'm talking about food a lot. But I want to make uh, these sort of crunchy crab things that my friend taught me. I don't care if I use imitation crab meat, but whatever. I like cheesy crab things. And, uh... 
I also want to learn how to make zucchini boats. I've cooked zucchini many times. I like it crunchy, but zucchini has such... Is it stairs? Zucchini has just a ridiculous amount of water, so it's hard to dry out. Um, ah. After this battle, we shall finish because it's been 30 minutes and I'm making myself hungry. According to the treasure list, this is the last floor. So... We shall finish the Cave of Darkness. Everybody have a good day. We shall return to this spot. Bye bye